Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll be going through an overview of an enterprise-grade architecture for Microsoft's iPaaS offering, Azure Integration Services. We'll be covering the major components and considerations when getting started with Azure Integration Services as your iPaaS solution. Future posts will dive into each element and pattern into more details. Let's get started. So you've chosen Azure Integration Services as your cloud-based middleware technology and are ready to get started on the architecture. Like most organizations, your backend systems consist of a hybrid scenario where you have on-premise applications leveraging legacy technology and communication protocols. You may also have cloud-based applications leveraging more modern technologies. Let's say you've also recently decided to upgrade to a cloud-based SaaS ERP solution. And finally, you have your business partners that are an integral part of your business processes. If you have ever read the Enterprise Integration Patterns book by Gregor Hopp and Bobby Wolf, or have visited their website, you would know that they categorize enterprise integration strategies into four basic patterns. The most popular in today's integration strategy is web services. APIs have become the de facto integration strategy when either exposing your organization's services and data or consuming services or data from a partner. Azure provides Azure API management as the tool to standardize the management of not only the APIs you own, but also your partner's APIs being consumed by internal applications. With the developer portal, you create a catalog of all your APIs that enables service discoverability and standardization. When combined with Azure Active Directory, you can securely expose your APIs by leveraging OAuth 2 or OpenID Connect authorization workflows. These APIs could be on-premise APIs, APIs you've built in the cloud, or even partner APIs that you wish to control and monitor your organization's access to. Though there are myriad ways of creating your own cloud-based APIs, one of the easiest options is to leverage Azure's serverless technology with Azure Functions. With Azure Functions, you simply write the API code and deploy your application, and Azure takes care of the rest. Functions are also a great option for batch jobs and tasks. The next integration pattern is messaging. Messaging introduces an asynchronous and reliable solution to share and consume data through messages and events. For messages, Microsoft offers Azure Service Bus. With this technology, you can create queues and topics for providers and consumers to subscribe and share information. For event-based architectures, which are the recommended approach for iPaaS solutions, Microsoft introduces Azure Event Grid. With Event Grid, you can generate events that applications can subscribe to in order to be alerted to take action. Though similar to Service Bus, Event Grid events are much lighter weight messages that are inherently supported by the Azure platform. The file transfer integration pattern can be considered the granddaddy of the group and has been serving us well for decades. When dealing with an on-premise legacy applications that are difficult to change, you will undoubtedly need to leverage this pattern in your solution. Microsoft offers Azure Blob Storage as the technology to host your files and share it with consuming applications to download. The final pattern that rounds out the four is shared database. There will be undoubtedly an on-premise database that multiple legacy applications rely on to get their data, and you will be tasked with updating data directly into the database. So these patterns and technologies are all great, but how do I tie them all together to create orchestrations that mimic the business process workflows my organization needs? That's where the final core component of Azure Integration Services comes in called Azure Logic Apps. With Logic Apps, you can declaratively configure your workflows by selecting the right patterns and technologies for the scenario. You can also implement other messaging patterns like canonical data models and message translators, which we'll get into in future videos. Another honorable mention of a useful Azure component is Azure Data Factory. Though we've been talking about application integration, there will be scenarios where you want to implement data integration solutions when working with ETL or big data processes. In these scenarios, Azure Data Factory would be the tool of choice in Azure. In today's modern, fast-paced business world, you can no longer rely on traditional manual workflows to configure and deploy your infrastructure and software. Implementing a robust and lean DevOps strategy has become a requirement when implementing an iPaaS integration strategy leveraging the cloud. A core aspect of your iPaaS DevOps strategy is choosing the right release management tool and infrastructure as code toolset. 
This allows you to automate the deployment and validation of your applications and infrastructure and source control your infrastructure. Microsoft offers Azure DevOps as a release management tool that allows you to configure continuous integration and deployments of your solutions. For your infrastructure as code needs, you can either leverage the Azure native solution of ARM templates or third-party tools like HashiCorp's Terraform. The final critical topic I would like to discuss is the monitoring of your new Azure iPaaS applications. Azure offers solutions such as Azure Monitor, App Insights, and Log Analytics to build the proper monitoring and automation solution needed to maximize your application uptime and reliability. So this is all great, but how do I choose the right patterns for a given situation? Once I choose a pattern, how do I choose the right Azure components and configure them properly? How do I build a robust messaging and API strategy for my organization? How do I get started building a robust DevOps and monitoring strategy? These are the topics I will be covering in future videos, so please subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Also, check out our website at www.decodedclouds.com to get the latest on best practices when implementing an Azure iPaaS solution. Take care.